How's it going guys? If you are just joining the GME Saga this weekend, I have the comprehensive information that you are going to want to find out. Now, a week ago on the 16th of February, I had looked up a uh, DD that said uh, the date for the squeeze has already been decided and the XRT uh, ETF, uh, how it was hiding the uh, GameStop shares, that is a case that has been blown open, continuing to be uh, caught up on, researched on, uh, but now, almost a two weeks later, we have an end game DD. We have all how all last week's actions come together to one specific date, all the data analyzed. I'm currently on my live stream with uh, 2,500 of you, and those of you that uh, maybe showed up a little late, those of you who want uh, a comprehensive analysis very quickly, I have two things to say. One, thank you so much for smashing that like button. It helps other apes find out about this information. Two, uh, I want you to note that by the end of this video, you are going to have a lot of information about what specific date the squeeze is projected to be. But without these two points, uh, I want you to know that you have to make your own research. You have to make sure that you're never spending more money uh, than you are willing to lose. And finally, this is just a hypothesis, right? One person's research, proofread by a lot of people, but uh, it's still only one person's research. So now, without further ado, let me speed through this very, very long document that just came out an hour ago. So, in-game DD, how last week's actions ca all came together to one specific date. Now, you probably know that uh, last week there was part of the rabbit hole part one. We had GameStop uh, on the short sale restriction list. So this was beef by a hedge fund or maybe an unknown institution where the price of uh, GameStop was opened at $44.97 and uh, it hit its low in the first 20 minutes and hit its high as well. So very suspicious, but doing this price drop to $40 was created artificially by someone shorting 100,000 shares right at open. And why would you want to do that? Well, this is a great way to be able to bring it onto the short sale restriction list and that got GME on that list for the next day. So uh, rabbit hole one, someone got uh, the price down to 10% within a couple of minutes, but the same someone got it instantly back up, making it seem as though their sole goal was to get GME on the SSR for the next day while trying to avoid panic sell off by dropping the price too low. And that was really important now. Okay, that's part one. Number two, so we have uh, someone with large amounts of money set up the GME stock for a gamma squeeze, and we've been covering the gamma squeeze for a long time. But that is when call options are going to be expiring in the money, and then uh, a lot of apes are going to be able to exercise that, pushing the price upwards with all of those necessitated buys. Too long, didn't read. Hedges versus unknown institutions. A UI set up some, everything for a gamma squeeze and needed the price to close above 50. Hedge funds, no, don't want that to happen and keep shorting uh, the poop out of it to keep it below $50. Both sides waiting for each other to do something. Battle starts after market closes. This is one of Pixel's most famous posts just a couple days, uh, just the day before the price shot up from $45 all the way past 90. So. This, uh, this has a conclusion for rabbit hole part two. Uh, an institution, possibly a hedge fund, set up an options chain ranging from $50 into the high hundreds, well knowing that it will work because GameStop was only allowed to be shorted on upticks because it was on the SSR that day. Why was it on the SSR? That was from part one. Same reason, same, same someone uh, made sure that they got it there the day before. Citadel and friends didn't even try to fight back. They probably know who was behind it and they knew what kind of money they were fighting against they test each other at that moment. So there is beef between uh, the Citadel and friends that have been shorting the stock and some unknown institution that is playing uh, the big game, the marionette game, the puppet master game. So my, uh, the rabbit hole part three. So now we know that uh, everyone who planned this over the span of a week and the plan was executed perfectly. So on the 25th, there was a short volume of at least 33 million and to 51 million shares. Now, I covered that, uh, the explanation of what is a naked short. Uh, I covered the explanation of why these are called counterfeit shares, even though they are legal. Uh, but if you had the chance to uh, stop this video and, and, and read this yourself, or go check out my uh, 
uh, go check out my last DD video comprehensive uh, post that I uploaded directly before this live stream. Naked shorting is not always illegal. It is legal if the market makers are able to deliver the shorted shares within the given time period. But now we talk about fail to delivers. The process of creating shares via naked shorts creates an obvious imbalance in the market as the sell side is artificially increased, right? But if it is artificially increased, it's like borrowing uh, sells from the future. You are hurting the price as of now, but ultimately you're gonna have to buy back in order to cover these naked shorts and that is called a buy-in. It's supposed to be to maintain the total number of shares in the open and the marketplace equal to the number of shares the company has issued. All right. But Citadel, like special market makers, have exemptions. They're able to carry the short for 21 days instead of just three before they have to borrow a share. So in short, huh, get it? Uh, whoever planned all that knew that Citadel and friends were going to massively overshort GME and it was prepared and planned to happen on the same day. Whoever planned it trapped Citadel and friends into a corner of pool of poor despair and desperation, but why on that exact date? So now we're getting to the end game. If you guys are holding on to your hats, we had part one, someone put GameStop on the SSR list. Part two, someone is, uh, uh, part two, so part one was someone put uh, GameStop on the SSR list. Part two was that um, we had uh, big institutions playing against each other, trying to get uh, one side, trying to get it below the $50 mark, someone trying to get it above the $50 mark. That beef has now translated to part three which is that um, the side that was trying to get it below the $50 mark has shorted uh, at least 33 million, maybe uh, to 51 million shares. Uh, this is humongous because this is all naked shares that will need to be covered soon and buying back in the, pro in the market at any price. Uh, so now that we have gotten to the end game, we have to understand that uh, XRT is a big, big factor. That's why I played you guys the part of the video in the very beginning about XRT, something that I covered a week ago. Uh, XRT is holding GME and has increased th from 3% yesterday to 10% today. So as of 26th of Febru uh, February, XRT is the most heavily shorted ETF in the world. That is humongous. If you wanted to know a little bit more about it, go check out that video that I was just playing in the beginning of this video. Uh, but what does this tell us? Well, the XRT is the prime ETF used by Citadel and friends to hide their real short positions from the public and uh, and when is this going to happen? The squeeze uh, is now projected to be Friday, March 19th, 2021. And we have almost eight points of evidence for this. Of course, nothing is set in stone. So once again, point to that disclaimer that this is just a hypothesis. So we have a lot of calculations here, but this, uh, uh, if the back of the envelope math makes sense, we have a percentage of shorts to the float of 432%. Let's give, uh, the, let's give the March 19th the evidence that it is due. One, the AI prediction starts around that date. Of course, AI, I'm a little skeptical. I'm a data scientist myself. I don't see the code here. I don't see uh, the data input here. Uh, and I know for a fact that there are many, many nuanced data points that uh, this model is not considering. So I would say that this is probably the weakest evidence for the March 19th date, but then we are talking about some pretty strong evidence. Remember the naked short activity on the 24th and the 25th? Well, those uh, that's 33 to 51 million more purchases by, you guessed it, March 19th, because from 25th of February, naked shorting alone, and 12 million from the 24th to be purchased one day prior. Uh, because of the exemptions, they have 21 days, and that goes up to March 19th. March 19th is XRT rebalance day, and that is the main uh, point of the video that I showed in the beginning of, the, of this video. XRT releases dividends every three months. Last one was December 21st. Estimated pay next payout is around March 20th. By this time, the shorts need to cover their GME shorts through XRT. Uh, and uh, and do, but there are questions about exactly why they need to cover, and this is some tax incentives. But shareholders are by law to f pay normal income tax rates as high as 39.6 percent. But on those dividends coming from the shorts, compared to the range of zero percent to 20 percent income based. If you're a millionaire with money in XRT, you're not expecting to pay obscene amounts on your dividend returns. Thank you for the super boogie. Uh, sorry, I'm late. This is the comprehensive uh, overview of exactly what we're talking about here. If you're a millionaire with money 
and XRT, you're not expecting to pay obscene amounts on your dividend returns. These type of investors don't constantly make sure their investment is not loaning out shares to short with no plan on returning them before dividend payment. Important to note is that the institutions controlling the XRT, uh, they are possibly in the in the space the headspace the possibility space of controlling of forcing the squeeze themselves now that comes down to number four massive options chains on various stocks set up for march 19th with volume so big that only large institutions who know what's coming set it up not only are we talking about the uh the spy and the game stocks uh and the vix which is the ticker symbol for the chicago board options exchanges cboe volatility index uh they also have facebook coca-cola starbucks johnson and johnson what do they have to do with gamestop well, the market makers are hedging that whoever that they own uh, with puts to save the value of their stocks they currently own in case the market implodes. They are hedging. That's the point of a hedge fund. They are betting against uh, the, the badness that could happen if the squeeze happens on March 19th. They are preparing. Why would they be preparing if the squeeze wasn't going to be close to March 19th? Uh, this is not, we're not even quite done with the amount of evidence yet. March 19th is the third Friday of March, and it is a quadruple witching day, a day where stock index futures, stock index options, stock options, and single stock futures expire simultaneously, which is going to cause a lot of volume because all of these uh, markets are expiring. Um, very similar to triple witching days when only three of them are, are expiring on the same day, and uh, double witching where two out of them are expiring on the same day. Number six, GameStop Q4 earnings are just four days after March 19th, and that is going to be fuel to the flame that uh, continues driving the squeeze upward. And number seven, market makers were so sure of GameStop's bankruptcy, they wrote a lot of naked call options, which is what we covered uh, in the rabbit hole, uh, parts one, two, and three. Now that the price rising every Friday, millions worth of stock on contract is going in the money. And when does that hit the fan again? Oh right, a Friday, but not any Friday. It's just the 19th of March, March 19th. Very similar to how much hype we had about call options yesterday. So, conclusion. The squeeze is inevitable. It got delayed many times, but no matter what data you look at, the outcome is always the same. Everything points to this specific date. Also, other hedge funds spell, smell blood. They can take out some of the biggest competitors as well as making uh, billions and billions of dollars in the process. There couldn't be a bigger win situation for them than this one. They think that the squeeze is starting in a few days uh, and they're gonna maybe even a week prior to March 19th, they think that it's gonna start March 15th and build all the way up to March 19th where the real rocket takes off. How long is it gonna last? They don't know. No one does. But they think that it's going to last for at least a week. Of course, it's always going to get more and more expensive to buy in over time. So you don't want to miss out. As always, buy and hold. When you are reading this exact sentence, they're going to go offline for a few days. They won't be posting anything new. Uh, and they are going to spend some time with their family, preparing for their dog, catching up on work. They love you, but they want you to know that they like the stock. And there, DD is over. Thank you for the DD. Thank you for the evidence. But remember that we have to make our own assumptions. I would say out of all of these points, which are numerous, many of them are numerous, uh, none of them are a surefire bullet to say that the March 19th date is a guarantee. So again, I say do your own research, become financially uh, learned, and be a person that always doubts the research that someone else has done until you have verified it yourself. I hope this gives you a little bit of uh, information about the date of the squeeze uh, because this was the comprehensive overview uh, that I can muster during this uh, Saturday. Uh, and I want to leave you with this. If this made you laugh, smile, learn something new, smash that like button so that other apes can find out about it. Join the Meatball Army by smashing that subscribe button and the bell button right next to it. We're on the journey to 20,000 subs and I would really appreciate you coming along for the journey. And uh, if you guys had a inkling of wanting to be able to do your own technical analysis. I recommend Webull down below if you want to be able to invest in uh, the Bitcoin market as it slumps right now. It's a great time to get in. Join BlockFi with the link down below. And finally, without further ado, I'll see you guys in the next DD for now, but not for forever. Peace.